How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jacksepticeye Week, and we're going to be playing Undertale, as you can see. Well, like here, I think. I think it's this way. I don't remember. I don't even know if I'm going to put it up yet. But, uh, I have a little bit of a sore throat, which means I definitely have coronavirus. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep drinking my coffee. That sounds like a good idea. But because it is Jacksepticeye Week, aka the week of St. Patty's Day, and the fact that I spent six, seven dollars on this hat, I have to get some use out of it. And so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, special guest, Fiddles McGinty today, playing some Undertale. And I hope you enjoy. Let's continue. Yeah, I'd like to use the box. Oh, I don't have anything in here. So I guess I'm just going to close that. Ah, uh, can I just go? Ah, so here's a bridge. I would assume that getting on there is not exactly the easiest thing. Oh, bye. Uh, that was close. Okay, what's this? I swore I saw something behind the rushing water. Okay, that's that's very interesting, Arthur. Uh, uh. There we go. Behind her rushing water. I guess that means that we're trying to get over her. Oh, boys. What are we trying to do? Yikes. Oh. What is this now? There's a 2 2 line on the ground there. Will you take it? I suppose I'll take it. You got old 2 2. Uh. Shift. I don't remember what the. Uh, oh, control. That's what it is. Item. Old 2 2. Info. Armor defense 10. Uh, I'll use it. Okay. And then. Manly bandana. What's the info on this? Defense 7. Okay, well, I don't really need it. So, I suppose this here is as far as I go. Oh, okay, there it is. I see. I just had to go to the other side. That there's kind of ominous looking. Oh, I'm going to get this off the screen. My apologies. Who's that? Hey, hi, Undyne. I'm here with the daily report. Uh... Regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh. Did I fight them? Y yes, uh, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I, did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard on Dine, but in the end, I failed. W what? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Well, that's not a very good... Uh Move. 
What are you doing? Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That... Was awesome! I'm so jealous. What, did you get her attention? Ha <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this one. When far bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Aaron flexes in. I would like to flex with you. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flexing contest. Okay. It's a flexing contest. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I don't know how. I'm so bad at this. It's ready for your next flex. Um. I would like to act. No, stay down, beard. Let's go out the shoe. Get the errant go away. I'll challenge your mind. Aaron is ready for my next flex. And I guess I shall flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. The tight increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Winky face. Aaron is ready for my next flex. Aaron, I'm going to flex. I flex very hard. Flexes himself out of the room. I won. Yes, I got gold. I feel very good about this. But what does this say over here? Oh, it's not letting me understand what it's saying. I got some very bad feelings about this, Spice. But well, there's four of them, so I'd assume that... That I need to do something over here. I don't know what, but... Oh, okay, no, I see, I understand. Is that not how this works? Okay. This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every single number sequence until I got yours. <laughs> That's dedication right there. So, uh, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Long, long time ago, 
Monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. What does this say? Wishing room. Oh, that's cool. Thousands of people wishing together. Can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Can I tell you a joke? You tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Should power neutralize. No, that joke's too dirty. Ah, that's true. It is too dirty. I wish to clean then. He hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Yikes. Okay. Okay, you can leave now. Alright, I'll see you later. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. I hope you see them too. Look through the telescope. Yeah. Check wall. What does that mean? What do you mean by check wall? That's an interesting bit of information there. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. What exactly about the wall am I supposed to be checking? I mean this wall? Ah, uh, this wall. Okie dokie. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it's the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with an unfathomable, bleh, unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about its drawing. Again, the silhouette is typically not. Let's go. Let's go, Mario. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, stop it! Stop it! I don't have the life for this. Eh. I survive for now.
Well, that's just sad. <gasps> Yo, did you see that? A dime just touched me. I'm never washing my face again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I thought her buddy was dead. <laughs> Magical crystal. I stuck to the table. Oh, that is truly unsad. Squeak. It truly does, it truly does. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use the premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How about it? Well, that's a uh, quite a quite an offer there. Well, I can see why it's free. All there is is red. It's not even didn't even work. Huh? You weren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bye. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Well, well, my mama always says I'm the brightest star around. Ooh, that's a, uh, that's a look right there. <laughs> that's what he did. Oh, that's what it was. It was you look into it and you did the, it did the thing where you look and then it did the thing. You know what I'm talking about. You've fallen for it before. I don't really want to be wandering off anywhere if I don't need to be. Quackers. I relocated my store. But there is still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. You sure can't get customers to come back. An ice cream, frozen tree that warms your heart. Yeah, I should probably take one. Okay, I guess I'll just take one punch card. That sounds good. I put me punch card in there. So, don't you have any... Oh, wait, hold on. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Well, sure, I have a couple of wishes to make, but, uh... Hmm, just one, but... 
It's kind of stupid. Are you gonna continue talking? No, oh, okay, never mind then. Hello there. Ballet shoes. Will I take it? Sure, I'll take it. Uh, item ballet shoes info attack seven. Okay, well, then I just don't really want to wear those. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you are not wearing a dusty tutu. So, of course, I actually told her that you were indeed wearing a dusty tutu. It paid me to tell such a bold-faced lie. Just since that you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie! This is so hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. No, wait, no, I want to go back. No, back. Skip. Yeah, I, I pressed the wrong one. Sorry, that's my bed. That's my B. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is a power that the humans fear. Okay, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, there. Noticed you were... here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you hear? Yeah... I... You're visiting the waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Yeah, it's, that, that's nice, there. Even, even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. That's sad to hear. Uh-huh. And the aquarium is full. Any, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? That's very nice. Hey, there. It's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Okay, see you around, buddy. Did you hear? You're back! I'll tell you a big secret. 
And I'm starting a, I'm starting a band here. It's called the Red Hot Chi Chippy Peppers. <laughs> All I've thought through is the name, and I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? Ab absolutely. Yeah, me too. Dark, I see you around. You gotta get going. Toot. Gonna toot. I shall conduct you. You have your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Oh, that's not nice. Guess I'm home. I'm a sad son. I follow my memory. The hum some more monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. Si fa, si fa, so mi re. Tons of selling tickets made of toilet paper. Now that's a, wear, a rare commodity nowadays. Let's conduct. Wave our arms and the crowd eats it up. See ha, see ha, so ha, so me Tons of selling tickets made of toilet paper. It's hum, you hum some more. Seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Me so me so me see me so great. Come some more. For the constant attention, the tours, the groupies. That's all. Aggressive tooting. about her future. Let's just continue humming. You and Sharon have come so far. But it's time. You both have to both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot. That was a lot more uh, pain than I was thinking I was going to be in, so. The northern room hides a great treasure. A northern room? Well, this is northern. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. X to quit. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. 
When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments, a human could absorb the, this soul. But this has never happened. Now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Oh, okay. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure, I'll take one. I took an umbrella. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. I don't know about this. This doesn't seem like a very good idea. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every fight. Knowing she was gonna beat me up, haha. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Yeah, it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, maybe we shouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh, that's nice. Well, there's the castle. Where are you going? Okay. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Oh, I'm not going to be able to climb without the umbrella. Well, okay. Put it back. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Okie dokie. The humans are afraid of our power. Declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. 
In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters are too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. There's that silhouette again. Easy evasion, but I still miss it. Oh no, I'm falling. I'm free falling. I'm sorry I made that reference. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Call picks, huh? That's me. It's actually Jack Subticide, but whatever. That's a nice name. My name is Piles of Garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just get more garbage. waterfall here seems to follow the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will, follow, will fall through and fall into the bottomless abyss below, viewing the endless cycle of worthless garbage. It fills you with determination. You save, I guess. It's horn wheezes and hunks of despair. beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. Has no brand. Shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space from the Yeah, sure, I'll take some. I got astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks over the edges. Oh, hey, look, it's one of these. 
Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Nah, that's okay. Stare. Haha, <laughs> you blinked. Not me. I win. Ha ha ha! Too intimidated, too intimidated to fight me, ha! Huh? I am the ghost that lives inside the dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you destroyed their home. You, us ghosts, spend our whole lives looking for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly, we grow closer to our new bodies until one day we too may become corporeal beings. Beings able to laugh, love, and dance like any others. But you, my cousin's future, you talk it all away. Despicable, despicable, despicable! Human, I hope you're not too attached to your body, because your soul is about to get evicted. Can I just talk to you? You talk to the dummy. Seem like much of a conversation. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Ow! You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! Can we talk? Talk to dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one's happy with this. Okay, I'll defeat you and take your soul. Well, I'm trying to do anything, really. I don't really want to hurt you. Hopping mad. I'll talk to you if I can. Nope, you don't want to talk? Okay, whatever you say. I'll stand in the window of a fancy star. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me! I'm still incorpor incorporeal, you dummy! Wait, is dummy a compliment? Whatever, whatever, whatever! Okay, well, I, I tried. Just remember that. I tried. Hey, guys! 
Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're all fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Dummy bots magic missile. Bots, you're awful. Final attack. Dex, where'd I go? Oh, there I am. I did not find my, uh... Worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. It doesn't matter. You can't hurt me. I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, hello. Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. I don't know, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh, wait. Did you attack me before? Uh, that's awkward. Sorry, have a nice day. Well, I'm going to head home now. Just warning you, so you don't accidentally follow me to my house. You probably wouldn't like that. Well, it's not like I have anywhere else to go. Oh, hey, you followed me. My house is up here. So you probably don't want to come his way. Hope that helps. This little bird wants you to carry you, wants to carry you across. Well, if that's not your star. If the bird wants to carry you across again, I'll accept the offer. I'll get her right. See you around, little bird. Well, I guess that's, uh, 
continuation. Just to see, like anyone's home. What? 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 It's a living. There's so much to explore. Shooting through the sky, little Einsteins. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave this one here, and this concludes Jack Septicai Week, where I used my hat and I've gotten my six dollars out of it. I hope. Only if you like, share, and subscribe does it count if I got one. I know one of you did. But, uh, but, uh, I will be sure to be thanking you all for watching my video, uh, my bird itching me. And I'll be continuing on this Undertale pretty soon. So I guess I will be seeing you in the next video. Because if you like this video, make sure to punch the like button in the face, like a boss, and high fives all around. Thank you dudes, and I'll see how you dudes in the next video!